Welcome back to Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World. We are still containing our red guy here and Oinor is not moving. And we are trying to conquer more lands to get more money to get our finances. At least into some degree of positive effect. See, we're still making a lot of negative money. And surely we must build guards. We all know that guards are important. Not that the guards, not that our guards sh w w would be able to uh, stop anyone from attacking them. Oh, we cannot attack uh, guard anymore. Okay, okay, okay. I see the point. So we're just getting more troops. So let's do this. Troll swamps could be evil. I'm not sure, but if there are more than two trolls, woohoo, we're in big trouble. Three, maybe, we've already beaten three of them, but any more, we have no chance. Not even a little. So, Oinor is thinking of a th move. As long as he's thinking, it must be a very, very good move. So, I think he has the same problem as I have. So, let's see. Our provinces are overpopulated. Nearly unbelievable when you look at this land. I mean, nobody wants to live here. Or here? Well, at least there's some flowers. Okay, a sanctuary. For Executioner Pitesman's Wheeler Hawkman. Oh yeah, we can do that. Woohoo! Big army! Only terrifying guy, this one. We need no sabotage. Very good. We'll wrap him as soon as he gets into range. Oh. Okay. I don't like this healing, so we'll stop that. So, now it's time for some web. Beat him! Beat him! Beat the crap out of him! I don't care how you do it, but do it. Yeah, yeah, you're not important. You're a pikeman. You're good in defending. That's all you're good at. Absolutely no problem with pikemen. Swordsman, on the other hand, can be terrifying. <laughs> I bet that hurt. Okay, I'm not interested in whatever you do there. Just interested in get, getting out of this battle better than I got into this battle. And punk, he's dead. This bowman is great. Uh, we'll take the Stunima, we'll take the defense, crap, crap, everything's crap, but we'll need the money. And what have we? Bottomless box. Trolls, I know three. Well, three is possible. It's absolutely possible. So, I think that's okay. No, we're not... C oh, I have an idea. We have tons of gems. Why not keep one of them out of the battle for some time? Okay, let them come. Mm. 
my game is locking at the moment. I hope you can live with it. Oh, he's closing in. No. And now he's standing in the woods. That moron. And he? Oh, makes no difference. We don't care. We nail him to death. I think we can even kill him by simply kicking his head when he moves at us. Good. Now you can knock him over. Thanks. Throw something at him. Not that it's of any use, but... Okay, now this guy is really closing in. We'll have to knock him over this turn or we are pretty much dead. Oh, we can do this. He's as good as dead. Okay, I'll tell you what. Feel yourself wept and beaten. I hope he does not break free from the web or we are in real trouble. If we run out of web before he runs out of life points, we are dead. How long will we stay in there? Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Yes, we can do this, no problem. He's regenerating, but we are doing a good job here. Very nice. Pathfinding, of course. Yay! Berserking, defense, um, range defense, moral. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Very good so far. Here is his... Oh, he has a fighter hero too. And what is he doing? Nothing. Okay. I want a guard here. Just in case something really stupid happens. The question is, shall we attack Oinor now? What do we do know about Oinor? There's no diplomacy with Oinor strength. What do we know about our own hero at the moment? He can learn some new spells, he can recruit some more troops. And I think he goes back and does exactly that. And we will buy Garnison. One more Bowman for him in advance, in case we run out of money. Can we construct anything that might be of use? No. And let's do this. Oinor is thinking again. Wondering what he's thinking. I hope we have enough money left to repair our gear. 
And your spells will be of some use. Oinor? What's your plan? What's what are you thinking? Little Gandalf. Thinking you uh, you ask yourself what friend means in old English in old old elven language. Oh we can deal with that. closing in he is terrible okay whoa did you know that there are skeletons that move three squares unbelievable I know but it's it's real there are skeletons who can do that. If they are trained, if they are get levels, they are able to do something like that. It's impressive, really. Okay. Nine damage, that's impressive for a skeleton. Well, anyway. Yeah, he's closing in. And can we do it? No, we cannot. But we can heal ourselves. Perhaps we should take care of Oinor soon. Every turn we wait, he gets stronger, as we do. Very good. Life points. Oh, oh god. I think he must return home soon too. Ancient ruins, eight of skeleton zombie schools. That's a big army. I'm not sure we can do that. He That's not the question. The question is, can the rest survive it? First call for some help, and then we'll let them come. Hmm, they all have no defense to speak of. I think we must mainly take care of the skeletons. No, of the ghoul. No, the ghoul is uh, distracting himself. Woohoo! He's dead. No, we're not shooting. We must remember first mission priority. Destroy the ghoul. The ghoul is the only one that I think is able to deal real damage to us. You ask why? Because he is diseaseless. Which means if he hits us, we get ill. And if we get ill, our attack and defense values drop to the bottom. 
even our hero, as well trained as he is, will be an easy target for a ghoul when he uses his special abilities. Yeah, he's running around doing stupid things again. But that's okay with us. I think after this battle I'll end this let's play. Would be a short let's play, but we did good. The main problem is that this ghoul is closing in. I don't like the idea of a ghoul closing in. Ooh, he's really closing in. The question is, can I stop him from doing so? Flee! Flee the abomination! Oh, this ghoul... ...is really getting to be a problem. But this is not a good English. The right words would be he is going to be a problem. But he's gone now. So. You are our first and second and third and last line of defense. We're okay, we're okay. Good guy, good work. We must... Oh no, this was not a good move. But we're okay. Let's see. Move here. Move there. Heal our main hero. Who's nearly out of Stanima, but he did it! What's the real great thing about warriors? It's not that they fight very good. It's that they kill most of the enemies in an army and so they level faster. A commander who's just commanding is not getting nearly as much uh, experience points as a warrior. And that's the reason he levels up like hell. So... Mm, regen regeneration? There's a regeneration ability for a human fighter? Well, if we had that, we've had no healthcare problem. So, attack plus two, counter attack plus one, parry and precisive strike. Good question, good question. We take that one. We take the first aid. A plate armor helmet. Well, hmm. And adventurer's guild contract. Oh. The money is good, no questions asked. So, troops for our guy here. Spells for our guy here. Now what? Two of this might come in handy. Treasury, we repair all our stuff. So far, so good. We could attack, but we'll do this in the next Let's Play. Thanks for watching. See you.